The world of sport is full of stories extraordinary, stories of grit, hope and inspiration. Each day, these girls are breaking through the taboos of the world, questioning the society that stops them from playing or even wearing shorts. These are the Shakti girls. Yes, these are the power girls from the slums of Chennai who get together every afternoon for a game of football, which means much more to them than just sport. It is a vehicle of change for better life for these wonder girls. What position do you play in? Uh, in the role basic. play and up to a defender, midfielder. Basic. Basic. Yeah. Ronaldo Khan. Ronaldo Khan. Do you like Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes. And what do you like here? Like, how does it help you? This. Do enna help on you? Like, every year, playing a ballad or something. Jolly. Jolly. She's singing. Lindsay. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm studying in eighth standard. Now I'm 13. I love football very much. Uh, I practice from football. I learn from football dribbling. Uh, how to uh, how to respect the coaches? How to obey the parents? How to behave in love, such a way uh, in some way in a uh, ground. And which and position do you play? Defender. You're a defender. So what are your future plans? Uh, to become a doctor. So that's amazing. So you're juggling education and sports. While their mothers and fathers work as fishermen, garden makers and vegetable sellers, the young girls are trying to bring meaning to their life through sport. Each of them has a very special story. I'm in Okay. So what exactly was the Australian uh, consulate's aim while you know taking up this project? So what, what, what was government the government has a big mandate of supporting uh, women and children okay. in leadership as well as in sports and every area of development possible. So education, a lot of the people are getting substantial support. Even the state government gives substantial support. But sports is one area where the, where the support is very restricted. So the Australian government found an avenue and found an opportunity in providing support. It's a small support, but through that at least today we can say that at least 300 of the ch girls from Tamil Nadu, of Chennai uh, have come out and learned one game where they can proudly play for the rest of their lives. These girls are ethically not allowed to come out, not allowed to wear even a short or for that matter and restricted to their houses only. Them coming and playing at, at you know, shoulder to shoulder with the boy was a big deal. The girls were coming of age or turning puberty and all of them. They could talk about it because we had a, uh, an inco a program incorporated within the formal training of soccer as to talk about the stigmas of menstruation, how to deal with it, how to walk confidently about it, ask questions and how to lead a normal, safe, hygienic life during the, not only those three or five days but beyond that. Like, you know, like all happy faces, children coming out, playing and I'm a little bit of contentment in the heart that at least I made someone come out, share their story. Just live, and just be, that's it. Right. Happy birthday to you. Football is not just a sport for these girls. It's a celebration of their dreams, their personalities and life itself. Oh!